And we're back with Ramco. The rest of Toronto is done, and today we are doing the less known brother of the indie Toronto back in those days. Even though it's probably a lot more known than the races in Montreal and Edmonton, to be honest. Welcome all to the Dodge Indy Vancouver. As for the standings, with the victory in Toronto, we have managed to break the 200 points mark. Second is Villeneuve, third is Andretti, fourth is Anser Jr., and fifth is Maurice Lukuzman, who, thanks to the extra point for pole position and the third place in Toronto, he overtook Bobby Ray Hall in the standings. And with that, see you in the race. And... Hold on a second. Did... Did we qualify in pole position? On a straight course? Yeah, that's... That actually happened. You don't believe me? There we go. That is actually the first ever time I managed to get a sub-minute lap on a track where the best lap are sub minute ones. Anyway, let's go to the garage. Load the setup. There we go. Alright, let's do this. The ticker. There we go, past Fittipaldi. Uh, okay, very good. Now watch out through here. Okay, very nice. Uh, there we go, first count over the wall. Car still feels fine, so no issue. Now here comes a bitch of a corner. There we go. Very nice. And that was lap number one. Okay, that was a bit too close to the walls there. By the way, making this race was a fucking nightmare. Uh, okay. The layout I'm using right now is the 1993 layout. Uh, I originally intended to use the 1999 layout because of the rule of using the... Oh boy. Of using the most recent layout for the tracks that... For the vanilla tracks that were included in the game. But... Uh, let's just say that track wasn't worth it. Okay, first, first off, qualifying absolutely sucked. I couldn't get anywhere past the last place. The only time I did was only for 25th. Yes, for the record, I only have 36 cars at any given time during the series, except for the, uh, for the 500 mile hour races. And after my last qualifying attempt, I went, okay, maybe the race will probably go a little bit better. So I, um, I skipped qualifying, or rather I finished qualifying and uh, pressed race. And I was uh, teleported out of bounds in the middle of the track. And when I, when I tried to get on the track, I got blasted. So, yeah, even if I managed to actually get a good lap on the track, it wasn't usable. Then, uh, I used uh, the 1995 version of the layout, which, uh, hold on a second. Oh boy. 
1995 version of the layout has a, uh, a chicane here. And I was actually going pretty fine for with the test race. And then the game crashed. Yeah. The, the, uh, the last time uh, the game crashed on me was uh, when I tried the National Street Course. But that was because the uh, the track uh, the track in question is still a VIP and qualifying does not work there. Well, that track was technically a fully uh, ironed out one. And because of that, I decided to use the actual vanilla track that came with the game. But there's a problem. It kind of sucks. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, considering that Papyrus uh, didn't consistently get tracks right all the time back then. I mean, look at all the original tracks that came with NASCAR Race in 1994. Which led me to use this version of the track, which is uh, based off of the vanilla version, but naturally a lot more accurate. There we go. So, yeah, this race was a fucking nightmare to do. Okay. Okay, the fact that neither Andretti or Vilna are in the top 5 is absolutely fine for me. No! Oh boy. And there it goes. Yeah, that 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 uh, that turn is a complete bitch. Because if you overshoot it, you're going to the pits. Actually, I'm pretty sure I pre I'm pretty sure somebody actually did that mistake. Where? And that's gonna be a okay. Never mind. Everything is fine. Somehow. Uh, as I was trying to say, I'm pretty sure somebody actually did uh, overs overshoot that corner and enter in, in um, pit road. And anyway, the car still feels absolutely fine, so that's a good thing. And in all honesty, okay, that was actually kind of bad. In all honesty, if even if I make a mistake and, and Ribeiro goes through, I'm not going to be too mad considering he's not a threat for the championship. God damn it. Okay, okay. Okay, I get it. I cannot this, take that one flat out. Or at least I cannot do it anymore.
All right. Very good. There we go. Sixteen laps to go. Okay, I thought the car super light there. Okay, brake. There we go. Yeah, I know, it's hard to look at, but... Uh, <laughs> you've seen what the fuck happened in the last two laps. Fifteen to go. I think this was the point at which the game uh, crashed with the 1995 track. That's not a hero. That... No, it's hero, never mind. I thought it was Krakow. And is that Christopher Apology? After hero? I mean, only he has a car like that, so I think that's him. Hey! Ooh, that. What? Okay, it's not Guerrero. But holy shit! <laughs> Like, 9 times out of 10, that move goes completely wrong in this game. Okay, stay by Guerrero. Uh. Give me some space. Well, he did, but I didn't... And I couldn't complete the, uh, the overtake. Okay, Ribeiro is having issues with Hero, which is good. Ooh, okay, there we go. Pass Guerrero. Now we have Salazar to deal with. 12 to go. And Delve we did. Okay, bit wide there. Uh. 
Okay, there we go. Now that should be some Pedri up ahead. How many laps is this in? 11, 11? I thought it was 12. Okay, that car felt super light there. All right. Almost five seconds from Ribeiro. Oh boy. Passes on Pedri. There we go. Nine to go. Now here's Greco. Oh boy, okay. There's Greco. Eight to go. Now there's Christian. I'm fighting with I don't I didn't see. Is that Sullivan? I think it is. Also, for my, if you want my opinion, I vastly prefer this version of the 1995 one because this chicane just breaks the uh, the flow for me. Pass Ribeiro and uh, <laughs> Ribeiro for the penalty. Okay, they're, they're both Brazilians. How the fuck did I save that? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, all right. All right, past uh, Sullivan. Johnson is up next. I'm not gonna attempt here. Maybe here. There we go. Next one should be Boisel. It is. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Pass Fernandez, who had his first ever career victory in Vancouver in 1994. At least according to Paul Page. And that is who? Well, they're gonna ask the cars. Oh, it's Erna. Okay, it's Erna. <laughs> Because Vester is right there on the ticker. Okay, past Herda. There we go. It's free to go. Now, almost ten seconds from Ribeiro. And I don't think we're actually going to meet anyone else before the end of the race. Which is good, so, so, so don't worry about it. Oops. Okay, no, never mind. Anyway, two to go. Twelve point five. Okay, okay. Ribery's definitely having problems with the left cars.
Ok, ecco qua. Did, did I just did I just talk in Italian there? Ok, white flag. <laughs> Shit, I, actually, I don't even know if I actually... Ok, that's... That... That's little Al. Because I was just, I was thinking of the of a, of a scene from uh, the movie Ferrari, a uh, 2003 movie, and <laughs> and so I just started speaking Italian there. <laughs> oh, whatever. Anyway, into the open for the final time. And we're going to win in Vancouver. And neither Michael nor Villeneuve are in the top five, which is absolutely great. Even more so considering the next race in, is, is our second 500 miler in Michigan, so yeah. And I am definitely going to use this version of the layout for 1998. Oh, and the scene in that movie was the the deal between Ford and Ferrari falling through. Okay. Into the bitch hairpin. This time to actually get into the pits. Here's our crew waiting for us. And there we go. And so, we win the Dodge in the Vancouver, second is Ribeiro, third is Emerson Fittipaldi, and then is Vassar, Rahal, Gushman, the Ferran, Gorn, Villeneuve, Pruitt, Cheever, and Tel Fabi rounds up the top 12. On your screen are the championship standings after the race, and our next stop is the US 500 at Michigan. So, this has been it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, it's probably click the notification bell so you get it in the next video drops. I have nothing else to say other than see you in the next video everybody, this is Alpha, signing out.